All right, guys, we are moving on to the painting of um, this details of um, this painting right here. And so in this video, I'm showing you how I actually paint the um, details for the building at the background. So I use all these different browns in order to paint um, all these um, things that we see on in the background. And so this building, because it is um, pretty far away from the viewer, and uh, we can see there is atmospheric perspective, which means that um, there's all these uh, things that actually make it look lighter. And so we are using uh, all these browns and we are starting from the darkest brown, which you can see there is pretty light. So as we move towards the left hand side where it's even further away, that will also make it look even lighter. And we're gonna use even lighter browns. Right, so the thing is we have all these um, different browns that um, I'm actually using and right now we are using this mid-tone kind of brown and we are leaving out some of these spaces for um, the paint, a uh, lighter paint that we will add on later. Right, so again, right now you can see that I'm actually using a subtly kind of a different brown and uh, this brown is actually done so that um, we have this all these variations of brown and again using that brush we are trying to make all these you know different browns and different kinds of uh, colors like reddish browns and light browns and yellowish browns so all these browns can help us to be able to um, have all these um, areas that are being covered by all these very rich kind of browns so that is something that is very very um, interesting to look at especially when uh, we look at the whole uh, kind of image and we see all these you know different things that are being added all right so using that brush I'm now adding this darker brown and this darker brown is actually making up um, this parapet or this uh, balcony like thing that is actually sticking out and again leaving out those white spaces that will be filled in later and so using that small little brush I'm trying to do all these different details and uh, we have this light browns and blues and uh, you know all these different kinds of dark colors in order to um, paint all these different details all right so we have this um, browns that is being mixed together with um, some of the lighter colors and again this area that is facing us the larger area of this building in the background um, is actually lighter and so i use a little bit of pink and this actually um, caused the, the building to kind of like look a little bit like pinkish and a little bit reddish and that is because of the effect of the light that is shining on this building all right so using that brush i'm just trying to make sure that we have all these you know different areas and different areas of the walls that are being added and so we have these uh, details again leaving white for those spaces that will be added on later and you have seen how i actually did it um which is done so this is done by adding in a darker or a lighter color, a different color onto the areas that are left white. Right, so we have this uh, pink. So these pink tones are now being added um, to this part of the building. And so we have, you know, all these pinkish kind of colors and all these different kinds of browns and all these different kinds of uh, grayish tones but a pinkish again um this color is added so that we have a variation of different browns and we have this pinkish brown that actually shows that you know i'm i'm using all these different colors when i paint so below that building we have that yellowish brown and so using that brush i'm just trying to make sure that we have all these you know different details that are being added and so we have this um lines that are being added at the top right 
So we have all these details and all these, you know, different kinds of browns. And again, using that brush, I'm just trying to add in some of those different brown tones. So in this building, you can see that I'm actually using a lot of brown tones and all these are subtly different browns. We have, you know, warmer browns, we have lighter browns, we have darker browns. And so all, again, all these different things will give rise to a very interesting composition of colors. And so right now I'm using the brush to kind of like draw lines. And these lines are visible because they are the patterns on the building itself. They are surrounding the windows. And so we have all these, you know, different lines that we can see using that brush. I'm able to draw all these lines in and they are able to be represented by all these, you know, very nice kind of lines and very nice kinds of uh, patterns that we can see, you know, on the building itself. All right, so it is very important for us to have all these um, different colors and of course all these different details and these different details will actually give us you know very very nice kind of uh, things that you know the viewer can look at and of course as i mentioned earlier as we move towards the left hand side that is where um, the colors get lighter so right now we can use darker browns we can use like you know all these kinds of strokes to help us with I'm drawing all these details first in this part of the of, of the painting where you know in the buildings we have all these um, different lines and different strokes that is used to represent the windows so again how do we do the windows so first we need to um, draw the um, surrounding of the windows and we are just using all these strokes to help us to very quickly make sure that we have all these strokes in before we actually move on to painting the actual uh, window itself. All right, so using that brush, we are trying to make sure that, you know, all these strokes and all these kinds of uh, things are being added in. And you can see that after using my brush, I'm able to paint, you know, those windows and those uh, uh, things that you see right there. And they look really attractive with this black outline so later on we'll add in those colors into those white spaces right so again very patiently adding in all the different windows and this is something that you know is um, very interesting to do because we have all these windows of different sizes and we have all these different kinds of lines some thicker lines and a little bit of thinner lines and lines of different lightness and darkness that actually gives us a very nice um, kind of patterns that we see on the building itself all right so we have the use of these dark tones and dark brown tones and so these are very nice um, kind of uh, colors and very nice kind of brown tones that we actually use for the windows and again we have the use of all these light browns and dark browns and so we have you know all these different browns that i use to paint this area both the windows and the lines on the buildings all right so as you can see right now um there's a lot of very nice interesting effects that are being done and we are using now the dark blue the dark blue mixed with water will give you this kind of grayish kind of tone and of course using another tone like brown so we have dark blues and browns that are now being added to the building itself and so these buildings these windows are actually consisting of different colors and as i've mentioned many times the use of different colors both warm colors and cool colors will help you to make sure that there's all these very nice changes within the building that will not bore the viewer to death so that that is very important when it comes to you know adding all these lines and all these you know uh, colors and all these very nice kinds of uh, textures and lines and different things that will make the entire painting come alive so right now um, you can see the building is actually coming out very nicely because of all these different things that I just did. Alright, so right now I'm just using that brush to help me with some of the windows. 
And as you can see, some of the windows at the top are being colored, you know, almost completely black, almost completely brown. Whereas those windows at the bottom part are actually left white so that we can fill in the lighter colors later on. So this is actually done in order to show variation again between all these, you know, different elements, different um, colors and different shapes that actually use different colors to represent. And so these are some of the techniques that we can use to paint the same object. So if you look at the original photo itself, you would see like this entire building is almost um, very similar in color. But right here, you can see all the different, subtly different colors that I actually use for that building. And so that is something which um, a lot of uh, watercolor artists or artists in general also use. And so these are some of the very nice techniques. Again, as we move towards the left, we have all these light browns and light grays, which are used to depict the effect of the sunlight on the building itself. And so that is something which, you know, is um, causing us to look at the building itself because there's a lot of interesting um, colors and interesting things going on um, right now. So the underside of that umbrella again, it's a dark tone. And right now we are using some of those, those colors to paint the details on the left. All right, so now we are moving on to this structure below the building. And if I'm not wrong, this is one of the temples that is located near to the water. So it's located um, inside that um, area where it's actually jutting out into the water. And so right here we have these red tones that are used to um, paint this area right so again using that um, brush I'm just trying to create all these different kinds of red tones so again if you look at um, the original scene the original photo there's a lot of uh, um, actually they are using it's actually the same color but of course when we are doing the painting um, we can use different kinds of you know, colors, different kinds of reds. So again, this structure, th this part right here, I'm actually using a darker red as compared to the red that is done on the left, on the top left. So the main thing here is to use different reds and I'm about to show you how I actually used all these different reds. All right, so using that brush, I'm just drawing these lines and these lines actually represent um, all these temple structures so right there we we can see a few shapes um, one long elongated kind of a, a red bright red shape and then we have this larger darker red shape and then of course this very long um, very dark red kind of shape so I'm just using the brush to make sure that we have all these different shapes and all these different um, reds that are being added and so these are some of the tricks that you know, uh, we, we use to uh, make sure that the painting is more interesting. All right, so very quickly, just using all these uh, different shapes and different colors like this orange. So using orange with red will also give you some very nice warm kind of tones and hues. And also using my brush right now to paint some of the lines to make up the temple. So again, very quickly, just making sure that this part here is done with you know all these orange and reds and browns and so on and so forth and so this will help us to be able to paint um, all these different parts very nicely all right so we have again all these um, different lines and all these different kinds of things that are going on and so that will help us um, to be able to paint these structures in subtly different kinds of tones and you can see right here that this structure right here is being represented okay with different red tones so i use darker lines to paint the details in the structures so after we are done with all those uh, surfaces we will connect all these surfaces by using these dark lines which i'm doing now and by adding dark lines you can see that the whole thing is actually coming together very nicely and so we have these, you know, different kinds of uh, lines and 
um, different kinds of things that actually make the entire thing look more alive. Right, so this, these are some, you know, um, very practical kind of uh, techniques and strokes that I actually added. And you can apply that when we are painting anything. Right, not just um, structures of the same color, but you can try to change and vary the colors. And that will give us a very nice um, kind of uh, color and very nice kind of, uh, you know, um, changes and transitions, even for objects of the same color. So for objects of different color, you can also try to think about how we can connect these different colors and objects. Right, so again, leaving white those spaces, which we will be filled in later with the darker strokes. And so just trying to make sure that we have all these different reds that make up the temple structure right here. Right, so using the brush, I'm trying to make sure that we have all these, you know, different lines and different strokes and different kinds of things that are actually going on and just trying to make sure that everything is being joined together. Right, so we have all these lines and we have all these different kind of lighter lines and darker lines as well, it's not just black lines. So right now I'm just trying to apply the same method, um, not the red color, but using all these light reds to paint the surroundings and just very quickly using, using all those lines to create some of the markings that we see, the shadow for that structure right there and of course the shadow for the stairs and some lines on the right hand side. Right, so all these details are now being done with that small brush. I'm just trying to complete everything right now. Right, so moving on to the stairs on the left hand side. So again, these stairs right here are very small. So again, using some of the, the small brush to help us with um, the painting of this um, thing right here. Okay, so this human figure here consists of lighter colors and also slightly brighter colors. We can see the green right there that is, that is, that is being painted. And later on, we can see that I actually used um, some other bright colors in order to depict this human figure. Right, so you can see the right hand side of the of the body is actually consisting of um, stronger and a darker green, whereas the left hand side is lighter green. And so we have all these different greens that actually represents the um, figure itself. And so when we have all these, you know, um, colors that will help us to um, be able to join them up together using those gray tones to join the stronger colors. Right, so now I'm actually using the brush to help me with some of the details at the top and very quickly just using the brush to help us um, just to fill up some of the details and really love to paint all these details that give a very nice kind of uh, tone and you know a very nice kind of uh, color and all these different things actually you know give us a very nice effect when we are looking at it right so this is the bottom part of this man right here who is standing i'm um, having that purple shirt and so right now i'm actually painting some of the feet okay the legs of the man who is standing right there with both the arms being lifted up okay so using some brown tones to kind of paint the man's legs all right so these are some of the things that we can see okay that is being painted so again right now the painting is actually coming alive with these human figures and these um buildings and all these structures and right now i'm actually using a very intense kind of a light blue that is cerulean blue in order to paint the figures um lower part of the body where um, this figure is actually wearing this light blue um kind of a costume and i'm actually trying to combine the light blue with some of the darker areas and this will actually help us to be able to 
um, have all these different colors together in order to show the folds of the costume and also the different dark areas and the lighter areas and that will give us many possibilities when we are trying to depict all these things together. Right, so this figure right here, we have a little bit of stronger colors like the light blues and the greens. And so we have all these, you know, sometimes when we have these figures with bright colors that will attract the viewer's attention to that particular point, especially that orange figure right there in the middle. And when we look at those blues and the, and these, uh, you know, light blues and these greens and these yellows, so all these will attract the eyes to actually view it. But of course, um, these colors are not as bright as compared to that very bright orange right there in the middle, which are resolved by using some browns surrounding that object itself. All right, so we have all these, you know, different kinds of uh, browns. And um, just trying to make sure that we have this um, darker tones that are used to paint the figure's shoes. And of course, what the person is wearing. And these are very nice kinds of colors that we can actually use to paint all these different areas. So right now I'm actually doing the bottom part of the broom. Okay, um, this person is actually sweeping, you know, the broom and sweeping, you know, I'm um, trying to remove some of the dirt or whatever on the ground. So that's why um, she's holding a broom, and this broom is actually, you know, resting on the second step, which counting from the step that she's actually standing on and this will you know give us um, some very nice colors again in that broom we have um, some lighter parts on the left hand side of the painting right so we have um, all these things that are now being painted and um, we used some greens and light blues to paint the moss at the bottom part of the steps so um, these are some very nice colors and so um, using the green combined with the browns that will give us a lot of um, different possibilities right so using the green and using the dry brush that will suggest that there is moss and so we have all these things that are being painted okay because of the moss and because of the browns and because of all these you know, different things that make up um, the stairs. So again, using that um, brush, I'm just trying to combine all these different colors together. And that will give us very interesting and very um, colorful kind of uh, colors and transitions between, you know, um, two different areas. And that will help us to have all these very nice transitions. So using that blue, I'm just trying to combine um, that with the, mo the the green moss. Of course, using blue for the stairs doesn't really make sense, but I'm just trying to add some more um, strong colors and intense colors so that there's more interesting uh, effects and results when I actually paint the stairs. So this is a very, very um, good way to paint you know all these details when we actually use the blues the greens the browns the uh, all these you know different kinds of uh, colors that um, make up these different areas and of course using those light browns and dark browns again create very interesting effects for the stairs Right, so right now we are just trying to repeat the same process as we move on upwards and again using some of those browns to paint some of the stairs and as we move upwards we have those um, very nice purples and browns and light tones and dark tones. So again moving as we move upwards we have those light tones that are being painted and using the brush we are painting some of the light purple tones that form the um top part of the the surface of the of those steps so again we will need to separate you know those steps and um that is very important now we are moving on to the middle part 
right there where you know all these steps are again being painted you know again just very near to that figure right there actually use a little bit of orange in order to relate to that bright orange in the middle all right so these are some of the very subtle things that i do and um we have all these strokes that are used to represent the details on this on the stairs right so now we are moving on to the painting of this figure in the middle and i'm using the brush to actually help me to paint some of the details inside so this figure right here is mostly dark but we are going to use um, the brush to help us to paint different kinds of tones and different kinds of colors that we see on the body itself so now i'm using this red and this red is actually being combined together with that dark tone in the middle so using that small little brush i'm doing some of the um, dry brush techniques so these dry brush techniques are you know very useful when it comes to doing textures even on a person's shirt of course it is useful for doing those rough textures on the floor and the, and the walls but um, it is very useful when it comes to painting the human figures itself and so using the small brush i'm just trying to connect all these different areas and i'm just trying to connect you know um, all these different parts using the small brush and using the orange and using the browns and using all these different colors that will give us very very nice kind of colors all right so um, we're moving on to um, the arm of the person so this person is actually carrying a pail and i'm using this brush to actually help me to be able to paint um, this person's arm and i'm just trying to make sure that it actually is reaching out to that pail and so um, we have all these different colors and different kinds of uh, you know dark tones that are now being painted for that figure right there and so using that small brush i'm just trying to um, make sure that we have all these you know different kinds of colors and dark colors and again we can see now the figure is actually wearing this head covering and a mask for the front of the face and we can see only see one line for the face right now and i'm using some of the yellows and some of the browns to actually paint the head coverings and of course using some of those dark tones to paint the darker areas and very quickly i'm just trying to complete this entire figure using all these you know different colors and different strokes and different kinds of uh, you know painting techniques and just combining everything together the yellows the reds and the darks you know using that small brush and just trying to make sure that we have all those details intact and then we would move on to the rest of the painting so using that small brush i'm just trying to make sure that we have all these you know different kinds of light colors that are being done and this is forming the left hand side of the body and so right now we can see that this man is actually wearing a, a red jacket with a black uh, part in the middle and of course using some of the yellows to paint the pail so right there the right hand side of the, of the pail is pretty light and as we move towards the left hand side okay so before that we will use some of the dark tones to paint the head so these are some lines that you see on the person's uh, body i'm just using that very small brush to help us paint those very thin lines just adding a lot of details so i love to pack a lot of details into my paintings and right now i'm just using the brush to help me with some of those details as we near the final part of this painting right so you can see right there i've left white the pale on the left the left hand side of the pale and so right now i'm using the brown tone to actually paint the shadow that is making up the pale right there and of course using some of those lines to paint the patterns on the pails and we are almost done with this painting which you can see i actually use all these different colors and techniques to paint all these things hey everyone it's ky tom here 
Thank you for watching my video. If you enjoyed my video, please hit the like button and comment down below. Do consider to subscribe to my channel for more art videos. Check out the links on the description below to find out more about my art and I hope to see you in the next one.